you have to have a deadline on this goal. You need to put a date, otherwise your dream will not come true. You won't be able to achieve your goal. How many times have you heard actually someone saying that? And you know, lots of people keep saying that, keep repeating that, but I think they just keep repeating that because uh, they, they believe it's true and, and they haven't really thought about this, you know. People teach seminars and they just keep saying that, but they don't really understand themselves why. And they keep telling you that you have to have a deadline or you put a date on that goal. And you know what? Sometimes that might be actually true. But in many cases, if not in most cases, that's actually something that's stopping you, that's preventing you from achieving your goals and dreams. Do you know that? Okay, I want you to think now about in what situation or what type of a goal uh, would be better uh, if you don't actually have a specific date or a, uh, or a deadline on it. So, um, what do you think it is? Answer in 10 seconds. All right, that was a difficult question, I think, so you can't really figure out it, uh, figure this out in 10 seconds. So let me tell you. The answer is a little bit long, but generally it's better not to put dates, deadlines on goals um, which you are not sure of. <laughs> when the goals are about things you don't know much about, you've never done them, or nobody has done them, or if they're really big. Like, let's say you, you say, oh, I want to build a a big business we're employing 20 people or I want to be uh, working on my own and making my own money through my own contracts and at the moment you've never you've never built that business or you've never been self-employed and independent you still have a job you have no idea how long it's gonna take you you have you you might guess but how good is your guess if you've never done this before you know maybe this is something that you that you are not built for maybe that your brain is not wired for therefore it will be difficult for you to achieve it and instead of one year it's gonna take you three years or five years or ten years so if you set yourself a, go a deadline for such a thing you are likely to fail and and get discouraged halfway through because you will then see halfway through oh my god i haven't made any progress this is uh, useless or oh, i'm giving up and that's it, you know, you're putting pressure on yourself unnecessarily. A deadline is really good only when really there is no choice. Like, let's say you are applying for a certain uh, job or, um, or a school and there is a deadline. The application needs to be submitted by this time, for example. And yes, then you need to achieve certain things before that deadline, yes. But generally, it's better not to do it. So let's say I want a new car or another car, a better car, in the next three months. How do you know that in three months it will be the best time for you to have another car? You don't know. Maybe it will be better actually next month, but maybe it will be better in six months or nine months. You don't know that. You know, so what you need to do instead, you just need to focus on what you really want, what's really important and say, okay, I want this. This is my goal. Let's say my goal is now, I'm going to make it simple, to buy a better car and it's going to be an amazing car. And then you think, okay, maybe between three to nine months, I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Now, what you need to do next is decide that you really want to do it and focus on it. If it's another car, you need to research what car you want and find more or less the car you want or a few cars that you want. Now, here's the thing. You can focus specifically on the car that you want or any other goal that you're setting for yourself. Or you can focus on the feeling that the car will, will, will give you. Because that's what I do. If I want uh, to buy a car, I'm thinking, okay, I want the car to have this and that criteria. And I look for cars and I think, oh, blimey, this is a car that would be perfect. And I'm thinking this car or better and believe me the few times that I was hunting for a car or something else similar I really got something better than I was looking for better price or better uh, option or whatever it, it was like much better I was like whoa you know it's simply because I didn't insist on 
a speci on the specific car or specific thing, specific goal. I just wanted the feeling of being feeling like great about my purchase or about the goal. And also no deadlines. I'm like thinking I'd like to buy it fairly soon, but I'm not forcing the universe to uh, turn everything upside down just to deliver a brilliant car for me. Because maybe the the universe needs w one month and a day, not and one month is not uh, not enough, you know, not long enough, you know. So I'm like excited. I'm feeling excited about that thing, about the goal I want to attract, and that's how it happens. And when the time is right, it happens. And sometimes, you know, I'm gonna give you an example. I was kind of uh, thinking about getting a new carpet into my room, and and it started becoming really important for me. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll buy it this week. But then I was thinking, uh, it's not really that important. I'm just going to think about this and I want the universe to attract the best carpet for me and create it for me, the, the whole experience. And and every now and then I would think about it. I would look at the carpet and it's like, yeah, I really want the carpet. I, and I was measuring the room, thinking, OK, maybe this size, maybe that size, you know. So I did put some thinking about this and some some action measuring. I checked a few websites and, and things, but I wasn't going to buy. I was just feeding my mind and giving the universe something to work with. And and then I forgot about the whole thing. And a few days ago, uh, it, just out of the blue, I'm sitting there and suddenly I get this message, this thought. So let's say a message from the universe, go and buy a carpet. And I'm thinking, of course, yes. And I'm looking at the floor, yeah, 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 I'm going to buy a carpet. And I started measuring again quickly. OK, this is the size that would be perfect. And then I'm, I'm having another thought. Argos, go to the Argos website and find there. Argos is a famous uh, store in the UK. So I go to the, the argos.co.uk and after a very short time, I see the exact carpet, not the exact carpet, but the, a perfect carpet for me, less than half price. And I'm thinking like, whoa, you know, and I'm like, unbelievable, you know, so. And I check the where it is. It's in stock just a few miles away. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? I have things to do, actually, but I'm buying a carpet. Maybe it's a bit irresponsible, but I'm thinking, no, no, that the feeling is really strong. I need to go and buy that carpet. So I drove there. And even when I was entering the shop and I'm thinking, maybe I went bonkers. Why would I go and buy carpet right now? But I'm thinking, you know, 33 pounds for a carpet that's got five star reviews, uh, quite a few, and, and it's less than half price. I'm thinking I can't go wrong with that. So I bought the carpet. It fit in my car without any problems. I was concerned before that it wouldn't. I brought it home and I laid it down and it was perfect size and it feels so good, so luxurious. I cannot believe it. And believe me, if you do things like this, forget about the deadlines, forget about uh, due dates or whatever, and just focus on what you want and how you want to feel about this. Focus on how you want to feel about this. Things will start happening for you. But if you insist on something very specific and on the specific time, you're not giving the universe a lot of room to maneuver. You know, the universe can bend rules, but remember the universe needs to also work for everybody else. It, so the universe can't bend rules just for you. You know, you need to give it space to maneuver. And, and the more you start doing things like this, the more you will tune in yourself to the communication with, with the world, with the universe. And you will know when to do something, when to go somewhere, when to make the phone call to somebody and so on and so on. Now, there is a lot I could talk here about, so do not criticize me for making it a little bit too simplistic um, because first of all I don't have more time no I do have time I just don't want to make this video too long but it's really simple focus on what you want and do not put dates unless there is a specific need for dates on your goals okay that's what I want to leave you with so focus on the feeling that you want to have and become excited about your goals it's good to write your goals down and have an example kind of a deadline like roughly if it happens by this time it's good if it but if it doesn't it's not a problem at all focus on feeling really good and you can have for example three dates like the ideal date then more realistic date and another date like far far away if it happens 
in three years time that's still good you know uh, something like this really do not put pressure on yourself and on the universe to deliver things to you believe me this really works i've tested this uh, in the last couple of years it, especially recently it started working for me in an incredible way things started happening do not put pressure on yourself because impatience and doubt is what kills everything it what kills your goals dreams uh, excitement you need to believe in that and you cannot be impatient and you need to be really excited about your goals believe me it's gonna happen for you so thank you for watching and sharing this video check out other links to other videos if um, if available and subscribe if you haven't why wouldn't you uh, oh thank you for for watching and um, see you in the next video take care